Hello, I'm James DePew. I'm a technology teacher at Belmont High School in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, my teacher is posing the question, is technology important for our students? Absolutely. We're in the 21st century and technological skills are a must. Then the question becomes, should our teachers be educated in technology? The answer is absolutely yes. We have to pass on the tools they need to keep up with the pace, the rapid pace of communication in the global market. Um, Technology also is divided not just into computers, which most people think technology is, but it's also into areas of energy, engineering, uh, communi uh, communications, transportation. But the one that's mostly associated with everyone is computers, and I highly recommend that every teacher become computer literate so they can pass on these skills in all their courses. Let's start at the beginning. just saying how kids can talk about just the quick, it's a hot liquid, it cools off and then it hardens, and then some examples of it. And then sedimentary, I kind of like that effect because sedimentary has to do with pressure. Hi, I'm a teacher at Westwood Charter School. I teach second grade and I think it's very important for uh, teachers to take technology courses because it helps students learn in their new era and it also helps teachers connect with students and what they are dealing with on a daily life, in their now, daily your, life. Your kids use uh, technology in their daily lives, don't they? Yes. What, how old are they? What grade level? Second grade, they are seven and eight years old. And they're still, they're using, already using technology. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you think that maybe uh, you might be able to help them use it for educational purposes. Yes. Is that the idea? Yes. So uh, how are things going so far in this workshop? Is there anything that you finally, you got some new things going on this Oh, time? yeah, new things like um, charts and tables and reports and graphic organizers, um, PowerPoint presentation. So you think you can actually apply some of these techniques in, into your classroom sometime soon? Oh, definitely. And because the Common Core standards are, are asking us to integrate technology with them, uh, it's a good resource. Even for second and third graders? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your time. Hi, uh, I'm Josephine Yadigar. I teach first grade at San Pasquale Elementary in Highland Park. And uh, I'm doing this class um, to kind of bring me up to date with the things that my uh, first graders, I think, will need to know to be able to do to be successful later on in their lives. And also to give me that information. <laughs> so it's went really fast, but we don't really need the music. I'm teaching advocacy and persuasion, so I was, tr I was trying to emphasize like emotional and ethical appeal as well as logical. So we have like in going down. How did you get those? those My name's Ruby. My name's Ruby Espeleta. I work at Roy Ball Learning Center. And one of the reasons I feel teachers should access technology, it's the new era, and some of us are completely clueless on how to use it, like me, we're not computer savvy, so having a technology class makes it easier to feel comfortable with that transition. And kids need it, right? Definitely. Students use it more than us, and that's the new way. That's how they learn. Okay, and things are changing, so the kids need, uh, need to learn the new techniques of the 21st century. 21st century, right. I wish they knew techniques of the 20th or maybe even the 19th centuries, but it's, I don't know how... They're forgetting how to spell and et cetera. So I don't know if I embrace it, but we need to well, at least get hip with it. It's another tool, you know, another teaching tool. Right. Good. So I'm glad you're in our workshop. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you, Ruby.